It's your chance to get inside the World Market Center. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. The Design Center at Las Vegas holding the clearance sale, and this is open to the public. Normally, the home showrooms only open to interior designers. This happens twice a year where they open the doors and they clear out the inventory, giving you some discounted prices. More than 80 showrooms will offer furniture, art, and accessories for your home. So it's your opportunity as a member of the public to come in and shop where the designers shop and see some of the most luxurious and beautiful items that you'll find anywhere in the world. Now there is a $10 fee to get in, but the proceeds will go to three local charities. Last year in two similar events at the Design Center, uh, more than $100,000 were raised for the Nevada AIDS Project, Habitat for Humanity, and Opportunity Village. The sale starts today at 9 this morning and ends tomorrow at 5. 613 right now, time for traffic and weather on the threes. Yeah, Tiffany DeLeon in for Tom Holly. And so far, look, things looking good, right? Things are looking good. Just a few fender benders that just popped up. Two actually. One's at Arville Street and Pioneer, and then another one at Flamingo and Valley View. However, those aren't on any real major highway, so they shouldn't affect your commute. Here's a shot though from our fast cam. It's gonna be the 215. Both east and westbound lanes are looking good. I have a road close up there on the right hand side. It's actually not the exit, but it's going to be on decay. Boulevard itself. You're going to see that closed Sunday night, 9 p.m. till Monday morning at 5 a.m. And that's all part of that bridge that they're trying to widen right there. You can see that it only gets down to two lanes. And if you are trying to head on there, I would say suggest to look either probably farther west or more east for an alternate um, entrance. Another shot here. This is just Flamingo Las Vegas Boulevard. Not many cars out here on the strip right now. However, you can see a few orange cones that kind of move traffic over to the left lanes. You just want to watch for that and use the proper lane shifts if you're he heading on Las Vegas Boulevard. Another shot here from our Rio Cam looking into that spaghetti bowl interchange. Again, we usually get that backup running down the I-15 southbound, but just not many cars on the road. Maybe not many people heading into work on Friday. Maybe like many and Tom, they all have day off. They're sleeping in, taking the Friday off, which is so great. And here's John now to talk about some severe weather that he was actually speaking about yesterday. Yeah, Tiffany, exactly. This area that I circled yesterday, and you can see every single one of these red dots from Wisconsin all the way back down to Kansas representing tornadic thunderstorms and uh, one very close to Wichita, as a matter of fact. And then you get a little farther up to the north in uh, Bloomfield, Iowa. We've got another one there that was just west of Peoria at Taylor Ridge, Illinois, uh, over a dozen of them. And we've got severe weather a little farther east. I'm going to be talking about in the next half hour here. Just the warmth, not going to say hot. Tom says it doesn't get hot until you hit triple digits. So 98 for your forecast high for today. UV index is very high, so be advised. 34 uh, degrees up at Pat's Place on the mountain, 56 at Wally's, 53 at uh, the community church in Sandy Valley, 56 at Wally's in Pahrump. People call me and they say, now look, if you're going to say Wally or, or Cody, that's fine, but always mention the city name as well. Mesquite at 69 degrees and 62 at St. George. All right, uh, yep, activities. Uh, tomorrow, of course, every weekend Saturday at uh, PetSmart Lake Mead and Rainbow, the Adopt a Rescue Pet Last Day Dogs. And then Heaven Can Wait are going to be there a week from Sunday, their big wine gift and jewelry luncheon. And it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And uh, a cavalcade of stars usually shows up. I'm not talking about this guy. 73, the current number out at McCarran. 92 was the official high temperature yesterday. Uh, so a six off the average. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next seven days. Don't forget that Casablanca getaway on tap for this hour's edition of the Frederick's Pack. Too much to expect? Nah, it's mesquite. All right, uh, flag day tomorrow. We'll get that flag back up there. And Father's Day on Sunday, going to be a hot weekend. Remember those four-legged friends. Walk them early or walk them late. Back to the A&M show. Okay, thanks, John. It's being called the best coffee in the world, and at 15 bucks a cup, Ooh. it better be. Yeah, you heard that right. $15 for just one cup. Find out what makes the brew so expensive. What happened to my Fred respect? There it is. There it is. Thank you. Wow, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, all right, you got a 50-50 chance at this one. It could get you up to the beautiful Casablanca Mesquite next weekend. Your choice of golf, spa, or dinner for two. Golf course is up there in tremendous shape. Who here here better, men or women? Got a 50-50 chance. What? Huh? Six five seven three four two five. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Valley Auto Mall, bigger and better than ever.
A $3 million furniture consolidation and store closing. On now at Bassett Furniture Henderson in Las Vegas. Prices have been slashed store-wide. Bassett Henderson is closing. Save up to 75% now at Bassett Henderson and Las Vegas. Only a fool or a fraud talks tough or romantically about war. When I was five years old, my father left for war. My grandfather came home from war and died the next day. I was shot down over Vietnam and spent five years as a POW. Some of the friends I served with never came home. I hate war, and I know how terrible its costs are. I'm running for president to keep the country I love safe. I'm John McCain, and I approve this message. Tomorrow is too late. Seeing, uh, I'm getting something bright here. Hey, can we take a closer look? Hmm. I've never seen anything like this. 16 dealerships, 16 dealerships. 24, brands. 24 brands, one location. One location. The Valley Auto Mall, bigger and better than ever. A $3 million furniture consolidation and store closing. On now at Bassett Furniture Henderson in Las Vegas. Prices have been slashed store-wide. Bassett Henderson is closing. Save up to 75% now at Bassett Henderson and Las Vegas. In February 2009, will your TV still work? Channel 3 is watching out for you with a half-hour special called Get the Picture. Learn how the digital conversion will affect you and if you need a converter box. Watch Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Today's traffic report on News 3 is brought to you by Finley Cadillac Saab, located in the Valley Auto Mall in Henderson. For the road-loving drive of a lifetime, let Motor Trend's Car of the Year, the all-new 2008 Cadillac CTS, turn you on. Performance, power, and design for the young and young at heart. Let the 2008 Cadillac CTS become your driving package. A test drive is waiting at Bentley Cadillac Sop, 993 Auto Show Drive in the Valley Auto Mall, 558-2600. Well, another defeat for President Bush today. It seems the Supreme Court ruled that detainees at Guantanamo Bay can file legal challenges to their detention. And President Bush very bitter about this. He said, he said he may have lost, but it was a deeply divided court that voted 5 to 4. It was 5 to 4. You know, the same vote that made him president. Five to four, which is very close. 620 on this Friday. Those stimulus checks in your wallet, well, they're creating a huge federal debt. The government's payments pushed the federal budget deficit to a record high of more than $160 billion. That's more than double the deficit in May of last year. A big chunk of that extra debt is that $48 billion of payments la made last month to jumpstart the economy, those stimulus checks. In the first eight months of the budget year, the deficit totals more than $300 billion, and that's just below the all-time record set in 2004. Yahoo needs some help, and it's turning to its online rival. The internet search engine has hired Google to help sell online ads in an attempt to boost profits. Yahoo will use Google to display ads on its own website as well as those of its partners in the U.S. and Canada. The partnership will first have to get a green light from the U.S. antitrust regulators and lawmakers. Yahoo believes teaming up with Google could boost its revenue by more as much as $800 million. And you thought you were paying too much for a cup of coffee? Well, we've got one that tops whatever you're dishing out. This coffee is $15 a cup. It doesn't even look that strong if you're looking at the picture. It's being called the best in the world, the Panama Esmeralda Especial Reserva. It's made from rare beans, and there were only 100 pounds of this stuff up for bid at a coffee house in Washington. That's the only place in the country where you can get some. Instead of throwing out dad's old neckties from now until Father's Day, you can trade it in for a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. It's part of the annual Ugly Tie Contest. The father with the ugliest tie will win a dozen donuts a month for a year. And those ties will be hung around the store through Father's Day. Marie, back to you. I never gave my dad a Father's Day tie. No? 
No, did you? Uh, no, but I wish I did. I'm just gonna have to go take one of his and bring it to the store now. <laughs> right, it's free donuts. Right. Free donuts. Yeah. Well, for people facing foreclosure, it may seem like there is just no way out. But this weekend, help is available. And the best part, it's free. Today and tomorrow at Cashman Center, a foreclosure prevention resource center will be open. Here you'll find help with mortgage issues, lenders, and counselors will be on hand to go over your options. And there'll also be information sessions on home ownership. The workshop starts today at 10 and goes until 7. Tomorrow it's from 10 to 5. State leaders say it's a rare opportunity to meet face to face with your lender and work out a payment plan that you can handle. Do not stick your head in the sand. If you know that life is getting difficult for you financially, come, take it, take advantage, sit down with your lender. We have had great success with some of these lenders, bringing them out here, willing to sit down with the individuals who are now, uh, unfortunately for them, receiving some of these default notices, and hopefully we put them together to refinance, to, to look at different ways to try to save their homes. The state attorney general says one in every 52 Nevada homes in the beginning of 2008 are in some sort of foreclosure. 90% of Nevada's foreclosures are in Clark County. 623 right now, time for traffic and weather on the threes on this Friday the 13th. Right, yeah, Tiffany DeLeon checks in with traffic and tells us, hey, is this a lucky or unlucky day for drivers? It is actually a very lucky day for drivers. Not much happening, just a few fender benders here and around the valley. We're actually heading to one right now. We're traveling over the 15. We had a report of an accident at Valley View and Flamingo. We're on our way right now, but if you look at that 15, both north and southbound traffic, running with no tie-ups. It looks like everyone's going at normal speed. A very easy commute if you're trying to head into that resort corridor this morning or heading up that northbound, trying to get into that spaghetti bowl interchange. You're gonna have no tie-ups and no delays. We love that on a Friday morning. Other parts of the valley are looking good as well. Just a few tie-ups on the 95, but it has since been cleared. Right now, though, let's send it back down to John with some morning weather. Tiffany, thank you. Great job up there. We appreciate it. Uh, we uh, do have one for the Fredericks Fact. Joke of the day in a minute. You alternative rock fans, Everclear, Soul Asylum, Cracker, Tonight, Sunset Outdoor Amphitheater. I got some tickets for the end of the program, like yesterday. 98 recreational areas we'll get to in a second. Here's your Las Vegas forecast. High of 98 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Beautiful up on the mountain today. A high of 74 degrees. Boaters, those breezes will begin to freshen out on the lake this afternoon. They'll get stronger tomorrow afternoon. And on Father's Day, tomorrow, of course, Flag Day. 103 for a high for the lake. And our thought of the day, I uh, like this one. Not going to try to pronounce his name. No persons are more frequently wrong than those who simply won't admit that they are wrong. Right now, 73 degrees out at McCarran. All right, uh, that is it. LJ, man, light a match. Hey, that's it from here. Let's go ahead and send it back over to uh, our two fabulous anchors today, Angela and Marie. All right, John, thanks so much. An attempt at being clever may have backfired on Fox News. Yeah, the network called Michelle Barack Obama's baby mama. Now, mm -hmm. hear what Fox News is not saying. And it's a beautiful skyline, and it is time for our Joke of the Day feature. This one making a big-time winner out of nine-year-old Victoria Hodges. Going to take uh, the folks over to the Harley-Davidson Cafe, celebrating 10 wonderful years at uh, Las Vegas Boulevard in Harmon. And uh, what is a cat's favorite color? That would be purple. Go home. This weekend, Robin Stuckey Interiors brings you extra savings up to $2,500 on the famous styles of Henry Don, including Barbara Berry, only at Robin Stuckey, Town Square, Las Vegas. Hi, this is Lynn Whipple, owner of Desert Springs Pools and Spas. I'd like to personally thank all of you for making us the number one pool builder in Nevada for over a decade and invite you to visit our new showroom with four full-size outdoor display pools. Also displaying jacuzzi spas, barbecue islands, patio covers, landscaping, and we do pool renovations, all with 100% financing. Come by now and purchase a Desert Springs pool, and I'll include a custom in-ground spa and programmable remote at no charge. Look forward to seeing you soon. Overstocks, just one of the ways Big Lots gets you brand name closeout deals that save you money every day in every room of your home. This week for Father's Day, get an oversized recliner for just $349.99. Save $150 only at Big Lots. Get great gifts at great savings, all for Dad. 
Kohl's is giving you two great days to shop for Dad with extra savings during power hours, late Friday and early Saturday. Save 50 to 60% on dress shirts and ties and stylish looks from Sonoma Life & Style. The latest swimwear is 55 to 60% off. He'll love this GPS navigation system and with a new watch, he'll always arrive in a timely fashion. It's two great days to shop for Dad at Kohl's this Friday and Saturday. Kohl's, expect great things. This video is only disturbing to those who don't drive a Honda from Honda West. If you own the fuel-efficient Civic, you probably wouldn't be sweating right now. That's because Civic gets a whopping 36 miles per gallon. That's right, 36 miles per gallon. Buy now and we'll lock in your gas prices at $1.99 a gallon for a full year. It's loaded with cool features and has the highest resale value in its class. So spend less at the pump and less on a new Civic at Honda West, the big Honda choice. You don't have a home warranty unless you have DC Home Maintenance. We warranty your entire home. We make monthly visits to ensure that all the little things are working properly. We will fill your softener, tighten any loose screws, lube or repair any motors and hinges to ensure that your pride and joy is just that. DC Home Maintenance. Are you in financial trouble? Are the bills stacking up? Are the creditors calling you day and night? I'm attorney Randolph Goldberg. Call me now for a free consultation. I can fix any financial problem. That's what I do. This Sky 3 traffic report is brought to you by Henderson Hyundai Superstore. New Hyundais from $59.89. We're ready to make your car buying experience fun and affordable. More airlines charging you for that first check bags. We'll tell you which ones they are and what other fees you can expect to pay this summer. Raising gas prices, raising cab fare. The plan that could have you and tourists who come to our city paying more. And getting heroin from the Goodwill? How a purse filled with the drug almost ended up in the hands of a child. Mm. Good Friday morning to you and welcome back to News 3 uh, Today. I'm Marie Mortera along with Angela Martin. We're in for Kim and Dana. Just about 6.30 on this Friday morning. Let's give you a jump on today's news. A fight between two men turns deadly. A security guard tells Metro a man tried to grab his gun from him during an argument, so he fired. No word yet on whether criminal charges will be filed. President Bush says he might seek congressional action to get around a Supreme Court ruling on detainees held at Guantanamo. The court says detainees have a right to appeal being held without charges. The Nevada Supreme Court will broadcast its session live on television and online. It starts at 10 o'clock this morning, and this is the first time they've ever done this. The state's high court will hear last minute charges, uh, challenges to term limits, tax initiatives, and election cases. And we also want to get a quick look at your Friday morning commute and weather outside with Tiffany and John. Thank you. There are actually a few incidents to report, one at Las Vegas Boulevard and another at Flamingo and Valley View. I'll have an update coming up next. Tiffany, thank you. We're uh, going to get back to where we belong for this time of year. Here's your forecast. High of 98, a few southwest breezes, a few wispy high clouds. We'll talk about Father's Day, Flag Day, and beyond. Right now, it's back to the news. Okay, we'll check back with both of you in just a few minutes. Well, air travelers should get used to even more fees and absolutely no frills. Starting today, another airline is starting to charge for something that we used to take for granted. News 3's Colette Wheeland is at McCarran Airport, and we'll co Colette Moore Airlines. They're saying pack lightly or you're going to have to pay up. Yeah, it's no more all-inclusive airfare that you're paying for. You have to, they're itemizing things right now. Today, United Airlines is adding a new $15 charge for that first check bag. They're jumping on board with other major airlines who have already started applying that fee. And this, uh, for United, it's anyone buying a domestic ticket for August 18th and later. American Airlines was the first major airline to start charging for the first check bag, and now United and U.S. Airways will add a bag fee for reservations booked on or after July 9th, and there will be no more free drinks on U.S. Airways. You'll have to shell out two bucks for a soda, juice, or bottled water, and even coffee. Industry experts blame these extra fees because they have to survive. Before two years is up, within 18 months, uh, maybe two years, we'll have three global carriers. We haven't had any global U.S. carriers since Pan Am and TWA went out of business. Um, the jet fuel obviously paying a big, big toll on the economy, uh, or for the airline economy. We're already paying at the pump a lot more, so they're paying a lot more at the um, jetline pump. 90 percent 
in the last year. That's how much jet fuel has increased in more than 200% since the year 2000. So they are just finding any way to survive. And U.S. Airways also announced that they will be charging $25 to make your reservation over the phone. So you're much better off going onto the internet and looking for deals that way. And also, uh, US Airways announced they will be laying off uh, about 1,700 people and reducing their fleet drastically. Reporting live for News 3, I'm Colette Whelan. Angela, Marie, back to you. Yeah, those fees just adding up. Thank you, Colette. Right now on KVBC.com, you can see my report on the best methods to pack your clothes. See how to fit a large bag's worth of stuff into a bag small enough that you can carry on the plane. That's right now on KVBC.com. Click on News 3 today. Cab companies could soon pass the cost of filling up onto you. The Taxi Cab Authority is considering a 25 cent per mile gas surcharge to cover rising fuel costs. The surcharge goes up for a vote in two weeks, and there's a good chance that it will be approved. Companies are complaining that their costs are skyrocketing, and drivers say business in general is down because of the sluggish economy. 6.33 right now, time for traffic and weather on the threes, and Tom Holly's off today, so Tiffany's up in the chopper, Sky 3, by herself, and you're keeping an eye on the morning commute down below. I am all by myself up here, and we do have a few incidents to report. One that just popped up on Maine and Las Vegas, but another one we're just right over. This is going to be at Flamingo and Valley View. You can see it in the center of your screen. It is right dab, smack dab in the middle of that intersection. It is going to affect all lanes going west and eastbound on Flamingo and north and south on Valley View. You can see that about one or two lanes can get by, and you can still make that left-hand turn, but you want to proceed with caution just because officers still do do not have any lanes blocked off and as you can see right here they still have the vehicles that were involved it looks like a head-on collision maybe one trying to make a left-hand turn they're still there uh, met, uh, the officers on scene not sure when those flatbed trucks are going to come but once those come you will probably see some lanes closed off but right now the traffic is getting by in all directions just like I said you want to proceed with caution and uh, just make sure you watch out for that other parts of the valley are looking great so let's go ahead and send it back down to John with a look at your morning weather Tiffany, thank you so much, and we should clarify, so you don't think that she's up there also flying the chopper, and we said all by herself, but she's got Captain Jeff up there and also Eric, Eric Ho uh, helping out with the, uh, the camera, but uh, doing a great job up there in Sky 3. 71 where we're bottom out. Here's your day part forecast, close to 90 by noon. Keep in mind, folks, 10 UV index, very high. You got to use that sunscreen and eye protection, and I, I please advise a minimum 30 SPF. Uh, hot Papa, yep, we're talking about it. Flag Day 103 Saturday, Father's Day 105 for Sunday. Right now, conditions out of McCarran, 73 degrees. Don't forget, we've got those tickets to see Everclear and Soul Asylum Cracker tonight. I've got those before the end of the program. But right now, back to the news and Angela. Okay, thanks, John. The town of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, underwater today after the Cedar River poured over its banks. About 8,000 people are out of their homes because of the rising waters. Can you imagine living here? This looks like it's out of a movie. Rescuers had to use boats to reach many of the town's residents who were stranded. In downtown floodwaters, near the top of street signs, and cars were nearly covered in water. Iowa's governor has declared more than half of the state's counties as disaster areas. Meanwhile, four Boy Scouts who died when a tornado hit their Iowa campsite are being remembered. The victims were just 13 and 14 years old. About 100 people gathered for a flag ceremony and vigil in Omaha, Nebraska last night. In the wake of Wednesday's tornado, at least a dozen people are still in the hospital. Mm. Well, local Boy Scouts have had their own close calls with Mother Nature, and the main threat here, wildfires. Two years ago, a wildfire on Mount Potosi burned more than 300 acres and forced a nearby Boy Scout camp to evacuate. A local Boy Scout leader says the organization's top priority is to provide a safe environment for young people. Because the scout motto is be prepared, there is a great focus on training, practice, and discipline. We have a uh, very proactive uh, emergency preparedness plan. It starts with our, our training, our fundamental training of all of our volunteer leaders and continues to our pre-camp orientation of all of our volunteer leaders before they go to camp. This year alone, 34,000 kids in Clark and Nye counties will take part in Boy Scout activities. 
Well, John's been telling us it's going to be a hot weekend, right. but a good time to get outside and enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. Absolutely. Tomorrow is National Get Outdoors Day. Calville Bay Resort and Marina on Lake Mead is one of 100 locations across the country chosen to celebrate. Just mention Free Fishing Day and your entrance to the park is free. The day will also include houseboat tours, a casting contest, giveaways, and of course, free fishing at Boulder Beach. If you're going out to Lake Mead, don't drink and boat a OUI checkpoint that's operating under the influence that will be set up this weekend. The sobriety levels of boaters returning after a day on the lake will be checked and any boater with an alcohol concentration of 0.08 or higher will be arrested. Authorities say that alcohol is involved in half of deadly boating accidents. 638 on this Friday. All right, well, there are some cute new members to the Siegfried and Roy family of the Secret Garden. Yeah, oh, so cute. They're tiger Aww. cubs. What makes their debut a little Aww. more special? All right, and from the cute to the strange. Oh my goodness, take a look at that. A camel that appears to come back from the dead. We'll have more coming up in the water cooler. Good morning, you're taking a, a long shot look right here at the 95 freeway. It's looking good, no incidents to report here. However, we're trying to head over to Maine and Las Vegas where there was a report of an accident. We'll have an update coming up next. Wake up with Kim and Dana Wagner, Chief Meteorologist John Fredericks, and Traffic with Chopper Tom Hawley. You're watching News 3 Today. Don't miss the final days of Walker's Half Price Sale. This plush $800 sofa can be yours for half price, now just $399. We got it. I never wanted to admit it, but I couldn't see very well. When I started missing out on the things I used to enjoy, I knew I needed to do something. So I made the smart choice about my cataract removal and found the doctor who was right for me. At the Shepherd Eye Center, our experienced doctors and quality care will make your cataract removal as comfortable as possible while restoring your youthful vision with new lens technology. See smarter. Call the Shepherd Eye Center today at 731-2088. Toyota has more cars with an EPA highway estimate over 30 miles per gallon than any other car company on the road today. Camry, Matrix, Corolla, Yaris, Solara, and Prius. And now you can lease a fuel-efficient Toyota Camry for only $199 a month or get 0% financing. Toyota, a smart way to keep moving forward. Now is the time. Get Deal & Doug's lowest price ever on over 160 new 08 Nissan Versas and Sentras. New Versas under 13,000. New Sentras under 15,000. Save again at the pump with up to 35 miles per gallon. Save now and save as never before at Douglas Nissan in the Valley Auto Mall or online at DouglasNissan.net. Remember, nobody beats a Deal & Doug deal. Nobody. RC Willie's warehouses are overflowing, so we're making a special offer. For a limited time, you'll receive a gift card worth up to 15% of your new purchase. Shopping for Father's Day? Receive this free quarterback kit with purchase of any recliner, motion sofa, or sectional. Dad would love a new TV, home theater system, camera, or barbecue grill. Plus, this table tennis set is just $69 with a purchase of $4.99 or more. No interest financing is available. Plus, a chance to win four tickets to the Miley Cyrus concert July 4th. All great reasons to shop RC Willie for Father's Day. Today's traffic report is brought to you by Edward M. Bernstein & Associates. Our goal is to get you every dollar that you deserve when you're injured. Edward M. Bernstein & Associates, 384-4000. You have a car accident. You say, ouch. The insurance guy says, too bad. But I say, call me. I'm Ed Bernstein, 384-4000. Today they unveiled John McCain's new campaign song. Can we show that? Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Alicia Jacobs. This year's Cinevegas Film Festival officially kicked off last night. The first film of the event being highlighted and celebrated was The Rucker. The Palms rolled out the red carpet last night as only they can do. Now, The Rocker, which features the star of the very successful NBC sitcom The Office, Rain Wilson, is sort of a rock and roll fantasy flick. 
And as you can see, a very nice turnout to celebrate the premiere. Impressively, this marks the 10th year for Cine Vegas, which has become one of the most respected film festivals in the country. More premieres as well as celebrity tributes and some amazing parties continue through next Saturday. In fact, the closing party for this year's Cine Vegas will also be Vegas Magazine's fifth anniversary bash at the Palazzo Pool, and it's going to be quite a shindig. All right, prepare for some cuteness overload. Earlier today, the Mirage welcomed its newest additions to the Siegfried and Roy Secret Garden, and they are the most adorable six-week-old baby tiger cubs. White, golden, and white striped cubs who are hanging out in a special nursery created just for them in the secret garden. Now, of course, naming these little cuties is a very important task. So they've decided to enlist the help of Clark County School District students, and they'll hold a contest in the very near future. Now, making it even more special is the fact that tomorrow is Siegfried's 69th birthday, and Sunday is, of course, Father's Day. Wow, what a great gift. Now, your chance to see these beautiful little babies is today at the Secret Garden, which is open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Back to you guys. Oh, they so certainly adorable. were cute. I know, Absolutely. I know. 643, time for traffic and weather on the three. Tiffany DeLeon up in Sky 3, checking it out. Tiffany, how does it look this morning? It's actually looking pretty good. We've had some report of incidents in and around the valley. One actually here at Russell and the I-15, but as we scan the area, we saw that there was absolutely nothing that's going to affect your commute here. It might have just been maybe a disabled vehicle or it's been cleared since we got here, but the traffic here is running smooth without any delay. We did have another accident. That was at Flamingo and, uh, excuse me here, there we go. Flamingo and Tropicana, you know, it's there it is. Flamingo and Tropicana, I'm sorry, Flamingo and Valley View. Let me get that correct there. Flamingo and Valley View. You can see it in the center of your screen. That was where two cars hit head on. It was not affecting your traffic going west or eastbound on Flamingo, but since then, uh, hopefully they got those flatbed trucks there cleared out of the way so it won't be anywhere in um, the way of traffic. But back here, traffic is looking good. You're going to have an easy commute if you're traveling to work today, which is great for your Friday. And let's get a look at your morning weather with John now. Tiffany, thank you. We have to start, unfortunately, with more severe weather. Earlier in Michigan, a tornado watch and severe thunderstorms developing all the way down just to the north of Tulsa. And you see this little orange box? That's a severe thunderstorm warning that just popped in at this hour. And that is an area, I just circled it last hour. This area right here, potential for the strongest weather. But all across the Midwest, moving in the Ohio Valley, could see strong to severe storms today. It has been a terrible, terrible year so far for the Midwest. 98 for us, boy, it's been a pretty mild spring. And yes, we're still in spring, folks, but it's going to feel like summer as we head toward uh, the weekend and uh, Father's Day and beyond. 92 yesterday, 67 the morning low. So today, if we hit 98, that's the average for today's date. A lot of single digits and a lot of 70s across our WaterSmart network of data. And uh, we've got temperature readings anywhere from 56 at Wally's Place in Pahrump, 53 at the Community Church in Sandy Valley, 62 St. George, whoops, and 45 up there in Tonopah. Uh, quickly, you see that big explosion of moisture, boom, right there. That's where I showed you that severe weather. And right along that line there, one, three inches of rain, even more strong to severe storms possible. Still very, very hot and very, very uncomfortable with the humidity. And look at how dry it is out west. 81 today for Los Angeles. 73 right now in Las Vegas, 65 in Fresno. And let's go ahead and get you through the next seven days. Of course, tomorrow, Flag Day, happy Flag Day. And uh, Sunday is Father's Day and happy pre-Father's Day. And we are going to have a very hot weekend on tap. And remember those kids and the seniors and particularly those pets out there during the heat of the day. We'll get you the answer in the winner of the Frederick's Fact and those uh, bonus concert tickets coming up but right now. We're going to send it back over to the news desk and uh, or actually over the uh, interview. What do we call that? The yellow chairs? Yellow chairs. The yellow, yellow chairs. chairs. Right. Thanks, John. Well, yellow wasn't doing it last night. Uh, <laughs> the L.A. Lakers lost the Boston Celtics. They are just one win away from their first NBA championship in 22 years. Last night, the Celtics erased a 24-point deficit to beat the Lakers 97-91 to in Game 4. The Celtics can wrap up the series Sunday in Los Angeles. I bet you have a bunch of dads celebrating that way, watching basketball on TV. Yeah, sure. not here, though. There are a lot of Lakers fans here. We got to cheer a little uh, louder for them. All yeah, right. I don't there know. You know. <laughs> okay, well, a fundraiser tonight could help give a former running Rebel player a new lease on life. Glenn Gondo Gondrzic waiting for a much-needed heart transplant. He played basketball for UNLV in the 70s. He's now the radio voice for the running Rebs. 
and he is at the top of the list for a heart transplant at the UCLA Medical Center. But he has been waiting for more than two months now. If you would like to help, a fundraiser will be held tonight at the Orleans Arena to cover Gondo's uninsured medical expenses. It all starts at 7. A woman tries to do something nice for her daughter, and she ends up with something illegal. Coming up in less than 10 minutes in the water cooler, what she found inside a purse she bought from the Goodwill. Congratulations, David Pollan. Uh, Angela knew this. Angela even added a few extras, including better listeners. What else, Angela? Uh, I said listeners. Marie said rememberers. Rememberers. <laughs> I don't think oh, that's yeah. a word. Oh, yeah. You do something to make a, man, uh, a woman mad, she may forgive you. She will never forget. Hey, David, you're headed up to the beautiful Casablanca and Mesquite next weekend with your choice of golf spa or dinner for two. Tee it up. Go Tiger. Up. Exciting news from Anna's. Anna's just bought out a huge inventory of sheets from a major American mill. Now you can buy Dan River 250 thread count king or queen sheet sets at the astonishing price of $19.99 while they last. So hurry to Anna's. It's Ashley Furniture Home Store's Package Savings Event. For a limited time, get a complete 14-piece leather living room for one unbelievably low price. That's right, 14-piece living room to the price you would pay for a 5-piece living room elsewhere. Get this beautiful 14-piece living room for one incredibly low Ashley Direct price. Plus, pay no interest till 2011. Hurry in today. These unbelievable package prices won't last long. Only at Ashley Furniture Home Store. You're going to love this place. I'm here at Planet Hyundai for Planet Palooza 2. They have the lowest prices ever. I saved big. Today's big super savings on an SUV is on the Hyundai Santa Fe. Just $13,988. Five-star crash test rated and seating for seven. This great SUV is backed by America's best warranty. Hurry, come in and take advantage of this great price. Only at the world's number one Hyundai dealer during Planet Palooza 2 on West Sahara, just west of Rainbow, Planet Hyundai. I'm at that place where saying goodbye to being a bachelor means time to buy our first house. You know, we were combining things like cars and bank accounts and furniture and... Everything but your stinky futon. But the only thing missing is more money. Believe me, I'm there. Here's a little housewarming gift. State Farm can save you nearly 600 bucks just by insuring your car and home together. Call, click, or visit and start saving today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Need a futon? I'm good. Sleep on this. Walker's half price mattress sale will save you money. Like half off this Serta Pillow Top Queen set, Walker price just $3.99. Or buy this $1,200 foam encased Queen Perfect Sleeper for just $5.99. Either way, you'll get free financing for one year, free delivery, free setup, and removal. And if you're not 100% satisfied with your purchase, Walker will take it back. Get a new mattress at Walker, save half off. Everybody's talking about Anna's. New bath rugs? Don't they look great? You know, I've seen them at that huge home store for about $20. Yes, but at Anna's, they're just $9.99 for the whole set. Anna's, where you get a lot more for a lot less. 6.50, time for this morning's top stories. An argument turns deadly when one man is shot. Metro says a man and a security guard were arguing when it became physical. The security guard says that man tried to grab his gun so he fired. The man later died from the gunshot wound, and Metro is investigating the possibility of criminal charges against the security guard. Cedar Rapids, Iowa is underwater this morning after the Cedar River poured over its banks. About 8,000 people are out of their homes because of the rising waters. Rescuers had to use boats to reach several of the town's residents who were stranded. In some areas, floodwaters near the top of stop signs and nearly covered cars. Iowa's governor has declared more than half of the state's counties as disaster areas. Lawmakers are looking for ways to help the agency that oversees oil futures trading. They want to give the Commodity Futures Trading Commission more resources to keep better tabs on the industry. It's the commission's job to investigate and regulate the oil market. Proposed legislation would give the commission more money, more manpower, and more detailed information about oil trades. 
With gas prices on the rise, airlines are hurting and they're being forced to tack on extra charges. Starting today, United Airlines is adding a $15 fee for checked bags, the first checked bag, and other airlines are headed down that same road with American Airlines starting the fee Sunday, U.S. Airways starting that fee next month. Experts say this is about more than fees, it's about an industry in survival mode. Time for a look at traffic and weather. Tiffany DeLeon up in Sky 3, keeping an eye on your morning commute. Tiffany. Good morning, Angela. We have a few fender benders in and around the valley. Right now, we're actually searching for one, and um, we're trying to find it. We had a report of it at St. Louis and um, Eastern, but right now, we're just giving you a shot of that 95. We did find that one accident, though, and that was at Russell. The reason we couldn't see it right here is because it was on the off-ramp on the northbound I-15 at Russell. It looks like it's a semi and a car. The car is pretty smashed up. Traffic is still getting by on that northbound um, Russell exit. However, you do want to proceed with caution even though it's pulled over to the right hand side. You never know. They might be waiting for a flatbed truck there, but it's not too bad. Back here though is looking great. We're going to look for that accident. We'll come back with it, but right now let's go look at your morning weather. Tiffany, thank you so much. Just a reminder, a new street noon preempted second straight day U.S. Open coverage uh, right here on the big three ski at 12 noon. Everclear Soul Asylum Cracker tonight. Whoa! Rain or shine, no problem with the rain. That's at the Sunset Outdoor Amphitheater. I got tickets to give away in just a second. 71 when the kids head out. Yes, we do have year-round schools here. Then we'll rise close to 90 by noon. We should top out at 98 degrees, folks, but that's where we belong for this time of year, and you know it's going to be a lot hotter for Flag Day and Father's Day this weekend. 73 right now. Okay, let's do it. Callers 3, 4, and 5, 657 3425. Everclear Soul Asylum Cracker tonight, Sunset Outdoor Amphitheater. So you have to get down here today to pick them up. Uh, we got a pair of tickets for each. And that's it from here. It is time for Marie and the Water Cooler. All right, John, thanks. Some people are wondering whether Fox News is racist or just clueless. This after the network aired a graphic referring to Michelle Obama as Barack Obama's baby mama. The graphic aired on Wednesday. The network has not apologized. It blames the incident on a producer who exercised poor judgment. The producer was not fired and no other disciplinary action was announced. And by the way, it isn't the first time Fox has taken liberties in their coverage of the Obamas. An anchor referred to the couple's affectionate fist bump as a terrorist fist jab. And then before that, an on-air contributor joked about an Obama assassination. Both have since apologized. Well, a Tennessee woman buys a purse for her young daughter at a Goodwill store. And get this, she finds heroin inside. The woman found two vials of pure black heroin with an estimated street value of about a thousand bucks. She took the drugs to police who are now trying to find the purse's previous owner. A spokeswoman for Goodwill apologized to the woman and says they work hard to ensure all items donated are inspected and cleaned before being sold. And finally, unusual video out of India. A camel had just been hit by a car and looks dead, but the story has a happy ending. Take a look. The camel springs to its feet and walks away. Wow. Well, the car, though, was completely destroyed. That's the buzz around the water cooler. If you want to sound off, send us your three mail at News 3 Today at KVBC.com. We'll be right back. Are you? the number one morning show in Southern Nevada. We have first response team coverage. Wake up with News 3 today. Find out what's happening on the roadways and Chopper Talk. News you need when you need it. It is 6.51 and time for top stories. Traffic and weather on the threes. Right now let's talk more traffic with Tiffany DeLeo. And useful watching out for you information in every half hour. Deals that we're going to be sharing this morning. We're the number one morning show for a reason. Watch us and find out. News 3 today.